Watch along with me as we transform my desk into a full recording console. Okay, in this video we're going to go through a series of clips that shows how we're going to turn my uh, recording studio into a, a full console here. What we've got is a Mackie 30 channel, and a Samson uh, 22 channel or 16 mono. Um, so I'll walk over here and we'll show you what we got going on. Right now I've got all my rack mount gear just stacked up on my amp there. And then there's what I've been using is the Mackie 30 channel uh, Pro FX 30 I think it's called. Uh, and then a little step down there for some other stuff. And we've got the USB channel uh, controller. And so what I've done is I've added another one of these double tier desk off of Amazon for about a hundred dollars. So and what we're going to do in the middle here as I will show you right now what we've got is uh, all the rack mount gear is going to get mounted in between the mixers so that we will have one continuous work surface across there. So right now I'm going to head out to the shop and I'm going to start cutting up uh, some plywood and uh, we'll see you in the next clip. Okay, now we've got the center sections tied together. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is just temporary, but uh, you can kind of get the idea where I'm going now with the whole work surface tied together thing. We've got the laptop sitting in the back there and it will, uh, I think eventually what we're gonna do is we'll angle it so that it's up like that. We'll make a little special cubby for that. And, uh, and now you can sort of see how the rat gear is going to fit in the middle. We've got an, more than enough to fill that up over there. And uh, yeah, these will be mounted up flush like that with the, the top of the mixers. So we have a, a nice center section which will uh, contain my, um, my interface. Uh, uh, the tube compressor, an equalizer, and uh, probably a gate, just uh, just to uh, finalize things off with. And that'll, that'll probably change over time. And then we have a nice rack that's going to go down into the middle section there. It will fit perfectly between all that. Okay, so we'll keep you updated as we progress. And now, in this segment, we can see that I've got uh, the gable ends cut and in place and we've also got uh, the rack mount gear starting to get mounted we'll just show you what we've done here we got the gable ends there and we're going to get a top shelf on that that'll be the next segment uh, i thought i was going to leave the laptop down inside of that cavity but that's not going to work out for a couple reasons so it's going to end up going on the top shelf and then we'll end up with a little cubby down here, keeping uh, some miscellaneous items like microphones and such. Okay, and we'll cut back to the next segment. And here we go. We've got the front board going along the edge of the console, uh, tying everything together. And our next step will be to add a full length shelf Across the back and I've just got a couple fillers right now where uh, probably a couple uh, pull tech clones will end up sitting and now we finally have the mixer all together and I've got everything hooked up uh, to my laptop and it's all working as it should which is really great uh, at this point, I have uh, 8 in, 10 out of the computer. Uh, I will be expanding that uh, very shortly. But just a short little video here. Thought it'd be fun to share with you guys my uh, little home project at home studio. Um, a lot more fun than working with a laptop, let me tell you that. I love mixing analog. Um, I know the plugins are great and all that, but I, I still like doing it the old-fashioned way. I'm an old guy.
But uh, there you have it.